Hey you guys, how are you doing? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'd like to invite you and say welcome to you if you are returning. Thank you so much for continuing to watch our videos. I'm so glad that it's such a blessing to you. I haven't done one of these videos for a while. I've been, been kind of holding off because I do want to do what's sold, but I don't want to barrage you with them because I know some, some people do enjoy them and others prefer other um, content. So what I've done is I've gathered, um, I don't remember how many I have here. I have a few solds that have gone on the last um, couple weeks. Some really great profited pieces too that I wanted to share with you. So that's what we're going to do today. So if that is of interest to you, stay tuned. So guys, I'm so happy to be doing this video for you. Um, I've really, really been pleased with the um, sales we've had. We've got some really, really great sales that have happened um, dollar-wise. Um, it's been a little bit slower, I've noticed, for some people with sales um, on different platforms. And the same has been for me. My usual with Poshmark has been the same. I've never sold a ton on Poshmark, even when... Um, I was listing a lot on there. Um, a lot of my sales come from eBay and Macari. I do get um, Poshmark here and there, as you'll see. Um, I'm not going to say where it came from because you'll be able to tell by the screenshot where the sale came from. I'm just going to go through. I'm going to give you the cog, the item, um, what it sold for, and what my profit was. Um, that way you guys can see. And this isn't everything that's sold. This is just... Um, the ones that I picked um, out of everything that has sold. So we've had many, many more sales besides this, but this is just to kind of give you a gist of what has been happening for us. Just start off with are these Buckle Miss Me Jeans. Um, I will share with you where I got these if I can. These actually came in the most recent uh, Help See Source men's box, new with tags. They threw these in there and honestly, I was okay with that because I had a feeling that they would sell well and they did, especially being new with tags. I do believe these sold on eBay. The cog on this box was $3.84. These sold for $50. I had them listed for more than that. Somebody sent me an offer of $50, and I was actually just really okay with that after running comps on these. My profit on that was $38.71. Next, um, Lucky Brand, I got a box from Helpsy Source. I've already been selling a few pieces, which thrills me. Um, the cog on these was $3, so this sweatshirt was $3. It sold for $22, and my profit was $14.50. Next, when Dan and I were out sourcing and going to garage sales this last summer, he found five of these hand-painted Russian boxes. We picked up five. They're all different. This one in particular was listed for $30, and we got an offer, and it sold for $25.50. Um, we made a profit of $15.53. If I haven't said yet, the cog on that was $5. Next, that men's box I told you about helps you source where the Miss Me jeans came from. These Vuori shorts came in them. Um, I had a feeling because I remembered that brand. I, thought, I think I mentioned that in the unboxing. That if I recall, this was a really great brand. And sure enough, it was. Um, I had a few people actually inquire about these. I had two people making an offer on it at the same time. Um, and so I picked the offer that I knew was the best offer for the time frame. Um, and then um, the offer was $42. The cock on these was $3.84. I made $29.76 on these shorts. So I was absolutely thrilled that these sold during this time of year. And I think the big, biggest piece of that was because they were the Vuori. Um, next, I've had this sweater for about a year, actually over a year. I got a sweater box from a liquidation company last year, and I have sold a few pieces from that box. This was C, uh, B Scene sweater. It's super cute. I think it had like a cow print on it. Um, my cock on this was $5.40. It sold for $20, and um, it was $8.88 was my return on that. So have you noticed every single thing so far, we've either doubled or tripled or more on our items via the cog. So that is absolutely fantastic. Next is this anthropology sweater. This was in one of those boutique by the box boxes that I got. New with tags items, 25 pieces. The $4 cog on these boxes. This piece sold for $30 and I made $20 on that piece. Athletic shorts. When we were out doing sourcing at garage sales this last summer, I picked up some athletic shorts. Um, I paid $3 for these shorts. 
they sold for 22 so my profit was like $22 and it looks like 15 cents or something okay Tommy Hilfiger again outsourcing at garage sales this last summer I picked up the sweater um, it was 25 cents yes 25 cents it sold for $28 so my profit on this was like uh, 22 something it was it was a great profited piece as you can imagine I'm taking out I haven't included um, the um, platform fees so um, y'all can adjust for that when you see there you know what each platform does for their fees percentage wise Fox plaid shirt I was so glad I picked this up when we went out sourcing at the thrift store anytime I pick up Fox whether it's a hat a shirt or anything it does get likes and it does sell this particular shirt at my thrift stores, these shirts were $3.75. This sold for $20, so my profit on this was $10.53. Now, my profit is over and above what my cog was. So I made the profit, and then I add my cog at the end. So um, profit is aside from what the cog was. Okay, keep moving along. Aeropostale vest. I was really happy that this sold. Y'all know that I did um, some men's and women's outerwear boxes through Helpsy Source a few months back. Um, and this was from the women's box. The cog on this was $6.25. Um, it sold for $24 and it made a profit of $11.23. I came just shy of doubling on that. Honestly, I was just glad to move it along because the women's coats on those boxes, um, I'm getting likes on them. But they're taking a while to sell compared to the men's, which I had a feeling was going to happen. So likelihood is, is that I'm probably not going to pick the women's box up again. I may contemplate the men's box, but the women's I'm not going to pick up again. Okay, Joe's jeans. I always do well with Joe's jeans. Um, this was from the Thread Up Denim box. So my cog on this was $1.35. These sold for $30. So my profit was $22.65. So great, great piece. This Forever 21 coat was again in that women's outerwear box with help to see source. The cog was $6.25. I had so many likes on this. And I continued to share, continued to relist, delist, and people kept liking and liking it. I always send offers. Finally, somebody took it for $28, so I was really glad with that. So I've made a profit of $14.43. Okay. American Eagle. This is another coat from that men's Kelpsy Source box, the outerwear. $5.50 with the cog on the men's box. The women's box cog was more. This one was nice. And this sold for $25. So I made $14.50. Okay, next is these rolling lights. This was from the Amazon box. I unboxed with y'all. When we did the um, Amazon liquidation box that we purchased for like $92, the cog on these was $4.60. We sold these lights. We've already sold a couple of pieces from that box. Um, I sold something else from that box this time, but I didn't include it in these wet solds. Um, this sold for $25, so we made a profit of $16.67. Okay, next, we still have a few more here, y'all. Next was this vintage brass... Victorian letter clip holder. Again, when we were outsourcing at garage sales this last summer, we picked this up for $2. We had quite a few likes on this. Somebody sent me um, some questions about it, um, asked if I would do 20 on it. I think we had it listed for like 22. Um, and I said, absolutely. So our profit on this was $14.92. Next was this Tommy Bahama sweater. Another piece that I picked up at the thrift store. Oh, actually, no, this was probably in a men's box because um, the cog is $3. So that means it was a men's box. This sold for $30, and my profit on this was $22.63. Okay, next was this new in box Oneida cocktail set. Again, when we were outsourcing at garage sales. Guys, if you're not watching our thrift hauls and we were doing garage sale hauls during the summertime, if you're not watching those videos, please do go back and watch those. We are selling so many items from Goodwill stores and the garage sale hauls that we did. So if you haven't been watching those to see what we picked up, you're missing out on what we're grabbing. So in the springtime, we start doing the garage sale hauls. Anytime we do thrift store hauls, do watch those because they do show up in the wet solds. Those pieces are selling. Okay, so anyway, we picked this set up for $9. They were each priced individually, so total for the cog was $9. 
Um, we sold it for 19, so we made eight dollars and five cents on that. Okay, y'all know we went to Sioux Falls to this crate place where you can go in and pick up um, goods, hard goods for like a certain price per point. And when we went in, we um, we went in this day. It was six dollars per item that we picked up. We picked up several pieces. Um, this um, Molly diffuser was six dollars, and we sold it for twenty two. And it uh, it uh, the profit was twelve dollars and sixty six cents. It's funny because I had a couple of people really really lowball me on this, and I was really glad I held out a little bit because we got a good a good offer um, uh, a few days later. So. I don't take lowball offers like that. I just won't do it. Um, I know you want to like get the algorithm going, but if somebody's, and I've seen this on YouTube videos and other people on Instagram and stuff, if it's too low of an offer, don't go for that. You'll get better offers. You don't have to go for those really, really lowball offers on items. Okay, this was one of those pieces when we were at the thrift store. I was going through and looking at items and I found this absolutely gorgeous embroidered um, netting like overlay and I didn't know what it was but I thought you know what this is only three dollars and 75 cents it was an absolutely gorgeous piece even though it didn't have a brand name on it I thought this thing may sell itself even without the brand name on it so sure enough I took it home and when I looked up comps I found out that it was a Johnny West piece I was floored I could not believe I found this the funny thing was is that it actually was supposed to have an inside um, knit, um, polyester knit, um, long dress underneath it. And then what I picked up was the overlay of that dress. So it was actually missing the main dress underneath it, the, um, the tank dress underneath it. But I thought, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and list it anyway. And I took a chance and I thought, well, even if this had the knit dress with it, this thing was selling for like $75 plus when I saw the comp, so I thought, Maybe this will still sell. So I think I put it up for like $40 on eBay. Literally within hours, by the next day, it sold full asking price on eBay. I was so beyond thrilled. Um, so between eBay fees, my profit on this was $29.99. I was so, so happy with that. And I was thrilled that I found out it was a Johnny West. So now I kind of know what to look out for. And that's my first time seeing a brand like that in the stores, guys. I didn't think I'd ever run into something like that. Johnny Wes is, you know what Johnny Wes is. I mean, my goodness. Last but not least, for this time around for Souls, guys, this was another great piece that we picked up. And I'm so glad I watched with Soul videos and other videos from other resellers on YouTube. I watch a lot of videos to do research. This one couple that I follow, he picks up golf bags. And even if they're $20, depending on the brand and what it looks like and the condition that it's in, so I decided to take a chance on this. I told Dan, this is a golf course. So I, I comped it. And sure enough, they were selling anywhere from like 130 to 150 This one was new with tags. And it had a little bit of dirt on it. It was in really great condition. had the cover and everything. Um, so we decided to take a chance on it. We picked it up for $20. And I didn't know if it would sell because it's winter season. But we did get an offer. I think we had it listed for $175. Somebody sent me an offer for $125. And I said, absolutely, 100%. So between our fees and everything, we made $86.84 on that bag. So yeah, that was a great pickup. So um, those are the sales so far out of all the ones that we made um, that I wanted to share with y'all. I hope you enjoyed seeing what did sell. If you guys liked this for, um, sold video, I did not tack this on to a smaller video because this was a little bit longer. Um, and I thought I'd just share it with you really quick. So um, I hope this was a blessing to you. Please do give this a thumbs up if you liked this video. Let me know if you would like to see more of these. Um, also, if you have not subscribed yet, please do so. So you know when we're doing unboxings, what sold, um, haul videos, um, anything else that we're doing. And as you all know, um, every Wednesday now, we're doing the reseller chat, talking about all different things, reselling. So if you want to comment below and give me some ideas, I've already got my first video planned and I'm so excited to share with you my thoughts on those. Um, so do join in that on Wednesdays. And guys, I'm so thrilled that you've joined me today. Again, if you're new here, I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for returning, guys. We'll see you in the next video.